In this tutorial, we fix the images that are coming from the database. So, right now when we run this, we see the picture name. What we want to see is actually see the picture. And this would be really easy to do if we uh, had a picture in every in every section of this, but we don't. So, uh, you notice we just get end up seeing the the name of the picture. So, if I if I was certain that I had a picture in every one, what I could do is come here into my uh, source code and find the item template, which is up here, and where we drop in the picture rather than using a label just to put the text. I could come to the data section. I'm sorry. I come to this section and grab an image control, an ASP.NET image control, pull this off, and then set the image URL. Set that equal to this string. And we've done this in a bunch of other places, so I'm not going to go into detail on this. You know, we'd have to fix the path on this too to set the path on there. But since we don't have we may not have this. Um, if I use the image control, I'll get the broken image on any of the database entries that don't have a picture. So to take care of that, what I'm going to do is rather than just using just the image that's coming from the database, I'm going to actually send this image to a function and have the function take a look and say, hey, let's uh, return a string of text and stick that in this label, which will actually be an image tag. So let's just look at the function I'm going to call. I've already got it written over here. But the function is called check image. I pass in the string that hopefully has come from the database, but if that's null, then it return nothing. So I'm writing this to a label. Let's go back and look at the label. So again, this is being written to a label. And I'm called that check image. Um, so the label will have nothing in it as a text if there's nothing in the database. But if there is something in the database, then what we do is we write this string, you know, it's an image tag, and we fix the path, and we stick the image, and we have this image is actually an object that's coming across. You have to convert it to a string. And I could put my other things that I want in my image tag out here on the end. So this gets written to a string. This string gets returned again and stuck in the text for this label, which once this label is processed, it's really just processed like the image tag. So let's run this and show you the result. So in this case, we grab the picture and it's, we did the align attribute to get the text next to it. And I actually, I want to do this too. I want to make sure that this description text comes after the picture. That's way, I'm sure my align will work the way that I want it to work. So that's what we're doing to clean that up and get our text next to our pictures. And since again, the text is being written to a label, the description text, the um, HTML stuff will be uh, in interpreted as HTML. So everything works out great. So that's the trick to doing that.